from 13 WREX, this is 13 Cares. Good morning, everybody. I'm Jeannie Hayes. Welcome to a very special edition of 13 Cares. We're actually taking this one into the 13 WREX Weather Authority Center because we're here with Eric Sorensen, of course, who you all know, and you've been working <laughs> on Project Tornado for just yeah. several months now, and so we're dedicating this entire show to this project because it's very important for everyone to get this information. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times we think about, you know, tornadoes and tornado season, and not enough of us react to those warnings, so I, I want to talk a little bit more about that. But but it's also about the education and getting into the schools It's really important. Because that's what you guys do. I mean, it's really amazing. You have this big booklet and you go into schools and you show a whole documentary. I mean, why is it so important to reach kids with this kind of information? Well, first first of all, it, it, we start here in uh, January getting this all together. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the book to author and, uh, and the video. But what we want to do is make sure that the presentation is done in the right way, that the kids are actually going to enjoy it, that they're going to enjoy learning. If we're there to scare them, I mean, we're not going to do any good so we've got to make sure that we're doing it in a way that's going to be fun exciting and then more importantly that they're going to take the information home because we know that there's a lot of people out there that um, are older that maybe not necessarily up to the uh, the new uh, way of of, uh, staying safe during tornadoes, so we hope that they take it home and that they'll share it. And you guys, you, you keep a running tally on the newscasts every night, but you reach thousands of kids with this every year. Yeah, on Friday we did it. We hit uh, 5,000. That's exactly what we want to do. And it's not that we need to build the program. We, we want to keep it at 5,000 throughout, you know, every year because we know uh, you multiply that by the parents, uh, so you get up to 15,000 people. So it's 15,000 people are getting the new information every year. So if we keep doing that, then our commitment to the area is going to be better. And, uh, you know, God help us if there's going to be a big tornado that um, perhaps it's not going to be as bad. There aren't going to be that many fatalities if more people are trained. Such a such an important message. We're actually going to show you guys the entire documentary that you put together, the one that you show mm -hmm. in schools to all these kids. What are some of the main pieces of information, though, that you hope these kids are coming away with and sharing with their families? Uh, you know, not, not to be afraid, uh, first of all, uh, but to be prepared. Don't be scared, gotcha. but be prepared. And, you know, in, in our community, we have this notion that there's something protecting Rockford. That Rockford doesn't get hit by tornadoes. That I, I've heard the term the Rock River split, and, mm -hmm. and it's you know it's kind of a joke because there's nothing that is going to cause any storm or any tornado to split. Joplin, uh, Missouri, happened one year ago this past week, and the National Weather Service came did a seminar right here in this in our studio about a couple months ago and said Joplin could have happened here. There's nothing that would prevent us from having an F5 tornado here in Rockford, and Rockford is three times the size of Joplin, Missouri. Well, and I have to admit, I'm in that same boat. I hear the warning and I think, oh, I'll probably be fine, and then something mm -hmm. like last year happens. Yeah, one thing uh, that we're learning more after Joplin and Tuscaloosa is the psychology behind tornado warnings. Uh, when I put out a tornado warning, if I say there's a tornado warning uh, for Winnebago County, uh, what a lot of people will do is go outside and verify what's going on. Um, what we need to do as meteorologists is make sure that we're giving as much information and new information as we go along to let people make put two and two together and then say, all right, I need to go in the basement. I don't want people to go outside and see for themselves. I want to give them enough information to make the uh, right judgment to go in the basement at the right time. And that was actually a judgment that you and the entire weather team had to make last year mm -hmm. when conditions started, get, started to get dangerous. You actually went down into the basement as you were broadcasting. Yeah, May 22nd, 2011 uh, was probably the, uh, the first time in my 12, 13 year career that I've ever been nervous on the air. I've ever been nervous something's going to happen that I don't want to happen. Yeah, I so think it we, was real crazy. We have a clip here from last year's broadcast. We're hearing, Cindy, let's... I'm going to go outside. No, let, we're going in the basement. Okay. We're going in the basement because we're hearing the tower make some very, very... Yes. So at this moment, if you can still hear our voices, if you are near the WREX station, like the west side of Rockford, it's time to take your tornado precautions at this moment. Please head down into your basement. If you do not have a basement, the most interior part of your home, closets, bathrooms, put as many walls between you and the outside walls of your home or apartment as possible. If you live in an apartment complex, uh, head down. If you are on the second or third floor, find a neighbor, head downstairs to the lowest part as possible. 
So uh, one of the things, we tell you to take these precautions, and we're doing that right now. We're in the basement of the WREX studios. You're looking at live exact track Doppler radar. And, I mean, uh, you, you can right? hear the nervousness in your voice I there. <laughs> I, you know, it's one of those things. I, I didn't go back and watch that video. It took me about a month uh, yeah. because I wasn't sure that I was calm enough. I mean, that's, that's one thing. You, you've, you've, as a meteorologist, you've always got to be more calm than you think. Right. Um, so I, it, was, it, it took something to actually go back and, and watch it. And I had a lot of people say, we went in the basement because you did. So I want to be able to set the example first. I mean, you're matters. the first line of defense for everybody. We need to take a quick break, mm -hmm. uh, but we have so much more to talk about with Project Tornado, including coming up, we are going to show you the entire documentary that kids get to see at schools so that you can educate your family on these issues as well. We'll be right back.